morning everybody hope you're all well on this as you can see super frosty and cold morning I'm here um, leaning up against the ash tree that I often meditate against and um, I think I did a grounding and centering meditation here back in the summer um, so I've been trying to come out for the last couple of days since we had the tornado winds or whatever it was we had here um, and I think you all had it over most of the country as well if you're in the UK um, I was looking for some windblown branches uh, to collect to make my oam staves um, I, for the last couple of years I've been wanting to make my own stave set um, the oam are an ancient Celtic alphabet divination um, the symbols have been used and found carved all over the place with, in rocks and on trees and, and yeah it's part of my spiritual practice that I wanted to create my own set but I didn't want to just go out and hack pieces off trees. Um, the trees are our friends and I believe that you know when the time's right things are gifted to us. So I started with ash. I have got um, an ash piece from this tree that I collected probably about two years ago. And then it's like these things, they bubble away. They sit in the cauldron. Um, and then I thought, ideal, come out and you know see what I can find. Halfway around the wood, and it's only a very young wood. It's a millennium wood. So they, you know, 20 years ago, these were just fields. And I think you can see behind me, you know, there's quite a few, if I try and flip the camera, I don't know if it will continue yet. So there's my big old ash that was obviously a, a boundary marker and then they planted lots of new trees. Um, but so far I haven't found anything. Um, another piece of ash, but I'll leave that. For, there's no point taking what I don't need. Um, I've got some apple that is actually from my own garden from when I was um, pruning the tree uh, so I'm two in and and this is a it's a tree calendar as well all the trees are associated with a month or a season uh, I'm not going to go into details of the oam because um, yeah it's it's too in-depth here and actually my friend Rebecca of um, Silver Birch Healing another cheeky there mention there um, she's doing a series on it and I think we feed off each other don't we we are inspire each other and so it's it's Bex redoing and doing the series of her oem that's kind of inspired me to come out and actually reconnect with my initial plan from two years ago so I'm going to continue my forage and see what else I can find and um, yeah I'm hoping to reconnect back into YouTube a little bit since we were allowed to go back to work in July I've sort of let that go a bit because I've been so busy with the teaching and um, just back to work and celebrancy but it'll be nice to um, yeah reconnect back here and um, we've, we've got lots of things in the pipeline exciting things of courses face-to-face -face, healing circles online courses so um, yeah I, it'll be good to um, get my toe back in the water here so I'm going to continue on with my walk and um, my little forage Ooh, that's a pheasant that's just jumped out of the bush this is a lovely wood because there's a there are hares here there's a badger set around the corner there's lots of deer pheasant and you can hear the leaves and where they're frosty they're just kind of falling down and you can hear them crunching as they go yeah really pretty my favorite time of year um, yeah, so I'll be preparing for Yule actually, we're just past Samhain, um, I'm going to prepare for my Yule meditation where we're going to be journeying with the Kyliac, the, uh, the old woman of winter, and um, yeah, we'll have a meditation and a ritual and connecting more in with the elements as well. So wherever you are, I hope you enjoy this beautiful day and I hope it is beautiful and um, yeah, connect back in soon. As a little add-on, I might not have been able to pick up any windfall branches for my oem, but I have stopped and I'm going to get some pine needles, or well, these are spruce needles, 
spruce and larch to make a lovely healing respiratory supporting tea. Pine is really antiviral, antiseptic um, and so yeah this tea will be really supportive. Obviously being evergreen we can harvest all through the year particularly when our systems need the extra support. Uh, so I'm just going to take a few needles with thanks and leave a bit of an offering for the tree which can be as simple as saying thank you. I um, make tree essences and flower essences so I often leave a few drops of whatever it is I have on me at the time. I think I've got some blackthorn flower essence on me and just to give thanks to the trees for providing all the support and healing magic that they give us. Um, yeah, nature is here for us to work with and live in harmony and synergistically with but at the moment we just seem to be taking advantage of that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'd always advise you to be very careful with your tree identification. There are many species of pine and, and spruce that you can use in teas, but definitely avoid yew because it's very toxic, highly toxic. And also um, like Christmas trees, don't ever use your Christmas tree needles because they will have been treated with chemicals. So yeah, I'm not advocating any particular type of tree. Um, you need to be knowledgeable about what it is you're harvesting before you um, go on and make yourself a healing tea. <laughs> 